My dear students from all over the planet, welcome to Medicosis Perfectionalis. Our playlist is Rheumatology. Today we'll talk about rheumatoid arthritis, the treatment. As you know, rheumatoid arthritis has clinical symptoms, and these symptoms are articular and extraarticular. The extraarticular are general and organ specific. Complications and association, we have talked about all of these in previous videos. We have talked about the diagnosis of rheumatoid before. You need more than six weeks and you need the criteria of the American College of Rheumatology slash European League of Anti-Rheumatism. Who are these people? I think I'm an Egyptian guy. I should start an organization. I'll call it Egyptian League of Anti-Stupidity on Demand or ELASO. Oh my goodness. So, you need the history, physical exam, and the clinical criteria. You need the lab, joint fluid analysis, radiology, and even tissue biopsy if you couldn't diagnose it otherwise. Treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. We have medical and surgical. Surgical for advanced disease only if medical treatment failed. Medical. Non-steroidals, DMARDs, and other immunosuppressants, including steroids. So, we have steroids here and non-steroidal here. DMARDs are divided into synthetic and biological. Synthetic means conventional or non-biologic, and these are not derived from animal or human cell proteins. Biological, on the other hand, are derived from proteins of the cell of humans or animals. It's not biological warfare. I know it sounds scary, but it's just the name. And these are divided into TNF and non-TNF. From the synthetic DMARs that I love you to remember forever is the methotrexate. Don't ever forget that. We have rules for treatment. Number one, do combine more than one medication together. You can give non-steroidal with a DMR, absolutely. But never combine more than one biological DMR. Now, please pay attention because I know some of you have excessive wax in the external ear causing a conductive hearing loss because your ceruminous glands are working like crazy and if I put a tuning fork over your vortex of your skull, the vibrations will propagate more to the defective ear. This is that Weber or Weber test. Listen buddy, I did not say never combine more than one DMARD because you can. I said never combine more than one biological DMARD, at least at the moment of the recording of this video. Why not? Because when you combine two biological DMARDs together, the risk of infection is greater than the benefit of treating the rheumatoid. But rheumatoid arthritis is horrible. You know what else is horrible? Your patient dying from tuberculosis. Get your head out of your sphincter. Risk? versus benefit analysis. That's why you need a wise doctor, an experienced doctor who has two brain cells that fire, not a blogger. Treatment philosophy now versus then. So in the past, we used this approach. If you have mild rheumatoid, we'll give you mild treatment. If you have moderate rheumatoid, we'll give you moderate treatment. If you have severe rheumatoid, we'll give aggressive treatment. Nowadays, we discover that rheumatoid arthritis remission is possible. Yes, you've heard it correctly. Remission. The rheumatoid can actually just go away. Thanks to the biological DMRs. Amazing stuff. So, nowadays we are aggressive from the beginning. Why? To achieve remission, baby. We go all in. Hey, medicosis, but I had a patient and the patient didn't like DMARD because uh, she thought DMARDs are dangerous and she only had mild rheumatoid. Why not just give her non-steroidals? Okay, do you want her to end up with erosions, deformities, and ankylosing? No! So please try to converse, convince her to get the DMARD. These are the new criteria and the new guidelines. So in the good old days, non-steroidals were the main thing. Today, DMARDs are the core of rheumatoid therapy. And as you know, DMARDs are divided into synthetic and biologic. The rationale of treatment is early diagnosis of the disease and early aggressive treatment from the beginning. You can adjust the treatment, the treatment later, but from the beginning, it's aggressive. That's how you get remission. Stephen Covey said, effective people begin with the end in mind. What's the end goal of treatment? To achieve remission. So go all in. 
So you decrease inflammation and we decrease pain, prevent deformity and achieve remission. Please don't forget it. First, you confirm the diagnosis. Two, start the DMARDs now. Not when the disease becomes severe later on, but right now, baby, we want to be aggressive so that we can achieve remission, so that the patient can be treated and even cured. Because if you went to a grave and in that grave were, was buried like a doctor who lived in the 50s and you just asked him like, um, hey, wa wake up doctor, I'd like to ask you a question. Okay, sure, what's up? Have you ever heard of rheumatoid remission? What, is that heaven? No, still earth. Have you ever heard of remission of rheumatoid? You're crazy, it's impossible, never happens. I know because when patients come to me with rheumatoid, I know that several years later they will end up with deformities, with erosions, and with ankylosis, and even like their fingers have been fused together, it's horrible. You know doctor, today we can achieve remission of rheumatoid. You're kidding me, I'm not kidding, I'm in heaven. You guys are living the dream. You can achieve rheumatoid remission. You're 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 living in Wonderland. Yeah, we do. Okay, non-steroidals used for just symptomatic relief. They do not modify the disease. That's why they are not part of the disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. So, rule number one: do combine more than one medication. You can give an ibuprofen and methotrexate but never combine more than one biological DMARD. For example, don't give infleximab together with adalimumab. These two are biologic. Do not combine more than one biologic DMARD together. So can I combine more than one non-biologic DMARD together? The answer is yes. In many cases, we combine methotrexate with sulfasalazine. But biological DMARDs can cause infection. Yes, if infection happen, stop the DMARDs temporarily. You mean pause? Yes. You mean we'll go to DMARD later? Yes. Why are you so radical? Do you hate patients? No, I don't hate patients, but I do hate disease. I want remission for the patient. But you should just keep the patient comfortable. This is what they say in hospice. So, some rules to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Of course, all of my videos are only for educational purposes only. Talk to your doctor if you need medical advice. Rule number one, do combine more than one medication. We get it. Rule number two, never combine more than one biologic DMARDs. So, you can combine a synthetic with a biologic, yes. And by the way, you can combine two synthetics. Biological DMARD can lead to infection. If infections occurred, stop the DMARDs temporarily. Why do DMARDs cause infection? Because they are immunosuppressants. When you suppress your immune system, I have good news and bad news. What well, good news? Good news is rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. By suppressing your immune system, you are suppressing the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis, which is good. What's the bad news? By suppressing your immune system, you'll end up with infection because you have damaged your own military. Or military, as they say in the UK. Rule number four. The number one choice for early treatment is methotrexate, which is a synthetic non-biological DMARD, at least in the United States. In Europe, it's sulfasalazine. Rule number five, two are better than one. Use a combination therapy, and it's better than monotherapy. Rule number six, try to avoid chronic use of non-steroids. Why? They cause peptic ulcer disease, gastritis, and renal problems. Rule number seven, Steroids can act like a bridge until DMARDs kick into gear because DMARDs take weeks or even months to start their onset of action. Rule number eight, never use non-steroidals as a monotherapy. Never use steroidals as a monotherapy because the mainstay treatment in rheumatoid is DMARDs. Don't depend on non-steroidals alone or even steroidals alone. You need DMARDs, man. Rule number nine, before you start immunosuppressant, please vaccinate. Make sure that the patient is up to date on all of the vaccines. Why? Two reasons. Number one, DMARDs will damage the immune system leading to increased risk of infection. So at least make sure that the patient was vaccinated. Rule number two, after you start DMARD. Okay, let's say I want to start the DMARD first and then vaccinate later. Okay, you're stupid. Why? Because if you vaccinate after the DMARD, how do vaccine works? 
Um, they stimulate your B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes to make memory cells so that the next attack is gonna be faster and stronger. Okay, but DMARDs have already destroyed your B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Vaccines are not gonna create memory in anything. They are useless after DMARDs. That's why make sure to vaccinate before the immunotherapy. Get your head out of your sphincter. Rule number 10, corticosteroids bridge then DMARD, which is the same thing as non-steroidals bridge then DMARD. So in brief, treatment of rheumatoid, medical or surgical. Medical, non-steroidals, DMARDs, other immunosuppressant. DMARDs, synthetic or biological. Never combine two biological together. Try to use combination therapy. When treating rheumatoid arthritis, be aggressive from the start. Why? To achieve remission. If you love medical mnemonics, try Picmonic. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Go to Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. Go to Patreon to get my notes and my cases. Thank you for watching. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Until next time, please be safe, stay happy, and study hard.